In tribute to a longtime Phoenix City Council member and three time interim mayor, Thelda Williams has died at the age of 82. And Williams, a strong supporter of public transportation, losing her battle with cancer. ABC 15's Christine Stanwood learning more tonight about her legacy. Please join me in a moment of silence. Before Wednesday's agenda, silence filled the Phoenix City Council chambers, a space once home to member and interim mayor, Thelda Williams. She always had such a great sense of humor and was always willing to work with anyone and everyone. Gratitude shared for a woman who served our community for more than three decades. We miss Thelda Williams very much. She was an incredible leader of this city, but we also want to celebrate her legacy. Williams passed away Tuesday. We're told she was the only person to have ever been named Phoenix mayor three different times. When it was a time of transition or crisis over and over again, people at the elected official and local level called on her. We are standing right next to a park that bears her name. She paved the way for future female Phoenix leaders. When I was first running for the Phoenix City Council, she was the only woman serving as an elected official. It was good to see her there to know that this was possible for me too. Serving as vice mayor, chair of the city council transportation, infrastructure and planning subcommittee, and chair of the Valley Metro Rail Board. Beyond the chambers, condolences felt from city departments. So I will tell you, she's, she's with her husband. That's where she wants to be. Phoenix police honoring her, her late husband and son, all who were involved with the department over the years. They were a total family of service. That's how, that's what they did. They served the city of Phoenix from start to finish, and uh, her passing is like the closing of a chapter. Steve Wamsley worked closely with the Williams family for decades. Her legacy and where she left this department is, uh, is priceless, priceless. Her passion, though, improving our public transit system to make it safe, reliable, and affordable for everyone. In fact, her last accomplishment she missed by just days. Friday, a new transit center at Metro Center will be named after her. In Phoenix, Christine Stanwood, ABC 15, Arizona. Christine, thank you.